Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a, uh, an update from NVIDIA DLSS DLL files. Right now we have the version 3.10.3 and this new version of DLSS improves ghosting and the GPU uh, memory usage. So if you want to try and to see if your VR experience improves. In my case, it did. I, I get better, um, less GPU usage, like I said, and honestly, the ghosting is gone. I don't actually see any ghosting with this version. Okay, so you have two options. You can come here to Tech Power Up and download the files. Uh, here there is the DLSS uh, 3.10.3 DLL file. You just download the, the file here and you will need to copy that DLSS file here into the uh, limitless folder in your Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this, in this case, in Steam is from files Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Limitless. Uh, the file we are going to replace is this one, nvngx slash dlss dot dll. In this case here, if you mouse over, you'll see that I already have 3.10.3 uh, installed. So, we've been using NVIDIA app or NVIDIA Profile Inspector to override uh, the DLSS file installed in the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder using the driver's latest version. Since the driver is not yet updated, we will use the file that we have here. In order to do that, we have to be sure that in the NVIDIA app, if you go to NVIDIA app and check for the settings of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. You go down and DLSS override model presets. It's this option. Use the 3D application setting. DLSS override frame generation, the same. DLSS override super resolution, the same. Because we're going to use uh, the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The NVIDIA Profile Inspector is here. It's uh, three files that comes with the inspector and here you will see you will find Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 here and under 5 common you will need to check for this setting uh, like I said, DLSS enable DLL override, we must turn that off. So the file uh, is uh, is working from the game folder, not from the driver. If we use um, on DLSS overriding by the latest available, it will use the driver's DLSS, which is 3.10.2. We want to use 3.10.3. So, we can change the preset. So, we're going to use preset K again, like before. And here, the option is to change the ultra quality levels, the ratio. So, you can change the ultra quality resolution. Once you have that, you apply changes, you close the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and we are going to check if the uh, DLSS version is installed. So, we're going to use the Registry edi Editor, and we're going to change this setting here. If we check here, uh, let me see, here. We're going to uh, Logo Machine, Software, NVIDIA Corporation, Global, 
and GX core and we're going to add this uh, show DLSS indicator uh, entry we're going to click we're going to right click and check uh, new the word 32 bit value once we have that we're going to add 400 here in hexadecimal or 1024 in decimal this will enable um, the DLSS indicator if we don't want to have the DLSS indicator we put here zero in virtual reality it's uh, it's uh, not nice to have the indicator because if you have eye tracking even worse because you will find that if you move your eye the the indicator will move with your eye so we just turn this on to check if we are going to if we are using the LSS 310.3 once we have that we close and we launch the Microsoft Flight Simulator if you don't want to use the files uh, method copying files and downloading from Tech Power App, we have the DLSS Swapper. So, uh, once you open the game, the, the app, you will see that on the left you have library. Here you'll see 310.3 debug, don't use this, use this one, 310.3. And here you'll see, like here, a download icon. Press there and you will have the same as here with this arrow the arrow means export don't touch this because it's useless here so once we have the DLSS um, 310.3 we have also frame generation if you want or ray, ray reconstruction you can download all the files here and you go here into games and double click in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and here you will find that the LSS, the LSS frame generation and ray reconstruction versions you click and you just swap to the 310.3 version this way you won't have to copy the files manually this program makes that for you once you have all these 310.3 versions you close and that's it once we are here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator um, game, we're going to check, like I said, if we are using Preset K and um, let me see because this thing is awful. Okay, here, here you can see uh, render Preset K, DLSS 310.3 in Preset K. This is the DLSS indicator. Once you want, you, you're, you're sure you're, the DLSS is installed, you will exit the game and then go here to the um, uh, registry edi editor and put zero here. Okay, close. And if you restart the game, this thing will be off. Okay, won't show up. And that's it guys check by your, uh, for yourself uh, take a look I think this version of the LSS is working it's pretty nice the ghosting like I said is gone in VR that's very important and the performance might be better less stutters more frames who knows my first impression is good see you next time